Welcome back. President Trump made his first appearance at the United Nations General Assembly meeting today, and he shocked many by threatening to, quote, totally destroy North Korea if necessary. The president also going after the Maduro regime's power grab in Venezuela. Local 10's D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo live in the nation's capital with more. Ross. And Lori and Calvin, the president going after Cuba as well. All of that somewhat predictable about how he did it and the language he used simply stunning. Rocket man is on a suicide mission for himself. In plain, shocking language, years, the president condemning North Korea in front of the world. If it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. The North Korean ambassador conspicuously absent, but Iranian President Hassan Rouhani in the audience as Trump blasted his regime. We cannot let a murderous regime continue these destabilizing activities. After meeting with Latin American leaders last night, the president also taking aim at Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. Maduro has defied his own people, stealing power from their elected representatives to preserve his disastrous rule. And President Trump also taking on Cuba. We will not lift sanctions on the Cuban government until it makes fundamental reforms. Meanwhile, back in Washington, longtime presidential attorney Michael Cohen arriving to testify before the Senate Intelligence Committee in the Russia investigation, but then leaving minutes later. Mr. Cohen looks forward to answering all of their questions. Cohen was set to testify about then-candidate Trump signing a letter of intent to build a Moscow skyscraper, despite Trump denying any dealings with Russia. And I'll be back, and I look forward to giving all the information. Former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort now not expected to appear before the same Senate committee after reports that the FBI wiretapped him as part of a counterintelligence investigation before and after the election, and after the New York Times reporting that prosecutors have already told Manafort they plan to indict him. If he did come before the committee, we wouldn't get any information out of him. Also here in Washington, another Hail Mary attempt to repeal and replace Obamacare. Republican senators just coming out of a closed door meeting a few uh, minutes ago to discuss the details. At this hour, they still remain vague. And Lori and Calvin, the big question is, do they have the votes to get this done in the next 11 days? And tonight, that is still a mystery. We'll have it updated.